Hello, and welcome to the TV room. David Bradley here. I have been oh, to the basement, and I found down there two monitors. Well, there's more down there. But I found these two. One of them's under the desk. They are identical. These are 1084 S's, and they have a funny thing in that the power switch is in the back. Now, I have not had these on in years, and I don't have anything right handy to connect them up to. But I'm just seeing if they seem to light up. Well, the light is on. Let's, oh, okay. I think I see it is now lightening up a bit here on the screen, but there's nothing to display. Now, if I reach around, turn it off, if I can try, try. Uh -huh. Okay, so there are definitely signs of life here. That is encouraging. So this is a 1084S. I wasn't even aware that it was. This is a yep, 1084S. On the front, it has a little door, as they do. It has the horizontal phase, brightness, contrast, color, U, and volume. And on the back... It has a ComSpec sticker. What else do we have here? It's got something scratched in. Oh, yeah. A lot of schools would take a tool and scratch things in. Anyway, on the back, we have, oh, yes. Horizontal size, vertical size, vertical shift. Analog. Excuse me. Looks like analog TTL. It's a little push button. The horizontal size is a, uh, a, a potentiometer for twist. Vertical size is a twister. <coughs> vertical twist. Sorry, vertical shift is a twister. And we have a nine pin input. Looks like a joystick port. That would be for the video from the Amiga. And what else do we have here? CBBS. Just a moment here. Just a moment. Do 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 do. Uh -huh. Manufacturing language. CBBS and RGB. CBBS, LCA. And then over at the end, we have four things that would allow us. There would be chroma, audio right, audio left, and luma. In other words, this monitor could be used <coughs> on, well, I think most everything in most every mode, I think. Certainly, it could be used on the 64 and the big 20. Probably a plus four and a Commodore 16, and certainly a 128 in 40 column mode. And I would like to think with all these different settings, a 128 in um, 80 column mode as well. I would like to think. And I'm just looking underneath. What is this thing? We sometimes had. Ooh, excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. This looks like something that would let the monitor sit on a different angle. Oh, oh, 
I'm pushing. I'm pulling. Yes, it is. Okay, it's giving me a bit of grief here. It looks like what it wants to do is slide down into, there are some holders here. I don't want to break this. It does seem to be giving me, or probably because it's never, ever, I'm exercising it. It's probably never, ever been in there. There we go. Cool. What an enhancement that is. As many power switches, this one does seem to have a bit of a, not a tough time, but it's, it takes usually more than one thing. So how does this thing do its thing? <clears throat> if I were to put this down, put this thing up. Oh yeah, the monitor leans down a little bit. It does. Is it on? It is not on. So I will need to check this out. There were several versions of the model 1084. There was a fellow who was online recently looking for a 1080. And they are the ones, as far as I know, that say Amiga on the front and not Commodore and not a model number. I had one of those. Ah, it was lovely. It was beautiful. But it's no longer with me because a fellow who used to work at Commodore was doing a special thing to do with Andy Warhol. And he needed one in a hurry. It was quite the adventure. And we are not in the same country all right now. How do I get this weedy thing back in here? There seems to be... Oh, there we go. There. Because I would like to have it sitting flat. I think there's nothing I can see in the front. This thing has all of its little feet. It does. Is it a little yellowed? Eh, maybe. Could it use a magic eraser? Yes. Yes, it could. Oh, you know what I forgot? I was downstairs. And I found... This. I have more than one of these. Uh, hey, but you got to be careful. The batteries do try and fall out. So we're on the air. Anyway, so this is... Let me just look at the back of this. One more time. This is... Oh, no, no, no. Don't break the little door. Don't break the little door. The doors are... Notorious on all monitors of getting this. Okay, so this is a Commodore 1084 SD1 made in Korea. January of 1992, X ray emission complies with FDA rated radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It applies, to, yeah, yeah, yeah. It does. So, now, anyway, there were different versions of the 1084. Um, <coughs> And then, of course, out came the 24S, which meant stereo, because, of course, the Amiga was stereo. Um, I know that the squarer ones have oh, not such great reliability, especially, I think, with a flyback transformer. These ones, I think, are pretty good. Um, I think I will test this and the other, which is now under the table here see what I can see and see what I can do. Definitely a magic eraser. There's sort of some I don't know, residue on the top here. Anyway, this was, uh, Comspec was a company that was in Toronto that did a lot of stuff with the school boards. And, uh, it's funny, the sticker it has sales service office and it says warranty board if removed. The sacred warranty. But usually these stickers would have been placed over a screw thing, but there's no such... Well, I guess they could have put it up here or up here. <coughs> anyway, I will test these. I will see what's what. There are more things to come up from the basement as I am working in the basement. But I am not forgetting that the pet here... 
This spread here works fine. It's missing a couple of keys, including the shift lock. Hmm, that's disturbing. And, uh, but anyway, I have more things to do. It's just I got a little bit sidetracked with this. Because, um, anyway, I will. Anyway, if you are interested in monitors, um, little by little, I will be gathering. And I will be testing, torture testing. And Sally, I would rather find out that they don't work here than send it somewhere or have somebody pick one up and say, hey, this doesn't work. Um, I did have a while back two of the 1084s that were kind of square. And uh, indeed, they ended up getting sold to a fellow who was uh, into fixing such things. And they weren't bad. I think they both were. One of them had a tendency to just cut out. And I figured it was... Uh, a cold starter drawer on the flyback transformer, and I thought, oh, I can go in and find this, because I've done this before. Oh, man. And if you look back in the videos, there, there was just so much shielding and stuff. I just, like, I, I can't do this. I don't like working on monitors. They have very high voltages. If you don't know what you're doing, don't do it. Don't do it. Anyway, so for the moment, I'm going to unplug this. Ooh. I will indeed. And it's funny, I looked down at the one I've already brought up, and its little door is not there. But I think I saw it in the basement. So I will bring it up. Sometimes they just come off, and everything is intact, and they can go back on. And sometimes, not so. Anyway, I'm just pushing 1701. I'm pushing on this to see if I can get this to fit. Even though there's a pet here. And I'm just not sure. Maybe if I can swing the pet with my foot to the side and have the keyboard kind of oh man, stick under the table. Or stick under the leg of the table. Maybe. Possibly. I can get all of these lined up and happy. I think so. Okay, so we're going under the table. <clears throat> oh, I know. You know what? At some point, I did want to get more monitors in here to continue the experimenting with the VIX switch. There we go. And now, of course, I have more monitors in here. I just can't do it yet because I have to do some surgery on this pet that I did. Excuse me. I did... Uh, I did some torture testing on the disk drive, thinking that I would figure out if anything was wrong with the disk drive, and something went squirrely with a pet. But if you've been watching, you've already seen this, you already know. So, I think that's it for now. So have a lovely, lovely day as I continue to try and keep things neat and tidy here in the TV room. But I'll be back in the pet room soon. And I've got to tidy up in the box room. I think I have to figure out other places too. I do. Anyway. Do have a lovely, lovely day. And... <clears throat> we'll see you again. Bye for now.